Hello YouTube! So, um, this is a question I've been asked recently, so I'm just going to post a video. How do you make swing wings in KSP with the new robotics? Well, this is how I've done it. Um, I have a fuel cell in there for the electric charge. Now what I normally do is I clip a robotics piece right here connected to the wing, which I will show, and I remove it from symmetry and set it to the main throttle. So that's fairly simple. Um, all of this is connected and offset. Now this is something a lot of people have been having issues with from what I could tell. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the robotics are not very uh, sturdy. They like to flex a lot. So um, I actually was tinkering with some of my old military craft and I uh, found a way to fix this. I'll show you what I mean by the flex on the first flight, and I'll show you a way to remedy it. Ooh, that lag spike. There we go. See, everything's set to the throttle. Give me one second. Get it up to speed. See that wing flex? Now, this causes issues at higher speeds, which I will show you in one second. I'm going to let this thing get up to speed. I'm just dragging this video out because honestly I have nothing else to do today. See that wing flex? Now, this is how I found out how to remedy it. What you're going to want to do, take an extra aileron, clip it in there barely, same vessel interaction, same vessel interaction on the top wing up here. What you're going to do is you're going to create a buffer. Um, the buffer should... Uh, well, what the buffer is going to do, it's going to keep the wing from flexing up whenever you're going into high G turns. So, this being one of my experimental aircraft, uh, has a very uh, interesting flight characteristic because of this. Um, I got used to flying my swing wings with the flex until I was trying to figure out how to remedy it. Uh, hilariously, this was the best idea I could come up with. It does not stop the downward wing flex whenever you're going negative Gs, but to be honest with you, you're almost never going to want to go negative Gs in a dogfight. So. Here. Notice that buffer. So, this part and this part. Same vessel interaction. Now, because of the way they're set up, um, they'll always be in contact with each other no matter what angle the wing's at. So, keep the wing from clipping through and flexing. Alright, that was a quick little five minute tutorial, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice night, or day, whatever time it is for you. Uh, I'm probably going to post this on the work in progress, so everybody else knows how to do this as well. So, have a nice day, guys.